Updating the firmware on your device while running Linux. If you've been using Linux as long as I have, it probably seems strange to even be having this conversation. And here I am making a video about it, just goes to show you how far we've come from the olden days when, you know, even so much as installing the NVIDIA driver was really hard to do. But nowadays, you know, running Linux on your desktop or laptop is very possible and very easy to do, very user friendly. And nowadays, yes, you can update your firmware while running Linux. Now, the machine that I have in front of me today is my ThinkPad X1 Extreme. This isn't the newest model they have available, but you know, it's a great machine. I've reviewed it already. Go ahead and check out that video card right here if you haven't already seen it. But while I was using this today, I saw a message telling me that firmware updates were available. So I thought it'd be a really cool video to show you guys the process of what that actually looks like in Linux. Now, it goes without saying, but the usual disclaimer, anytime you update firmware on your device, you're doing so at your own risk. So if you're following along with me, I'm leaving it up to you to do the research required to know if there's any known issues with updating the firmware while running Linux on your hardware that you look into that first before you proceed. But if nothing else, I'm going to show you what the process looks like right now, and I'm going to update the firmware on this machine right here. Okay, so here we are on my ThinkPad X1 Extreme. I'm having some issues with my screen recorder though, so if there's some lag, that's why. So with that out of the way, let's get to it. So first of all, if we check the notifications, you can see that I received this notification right here. That tells me firmware upgrades are available. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And that brings up this screen right here, which is actually part of the settings screen, as you can see. Now, it's very common nowadays to have more than one firmware update available because you might have more than one component in your hardware that actually has firmware updates available. So you can see here we have two. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do them all. I'll show you one because the process is going to look the same regardless of which one I choose. So I'll choose the one that's available, the first one that's available. So here it gives me some helpful information specific to this firmware update. So I can scroll down and basically just go through this and check out the information. It'll give me some information on what exactly this firmware update will do for me. And then when you're ready to go, if you uh, wanna go ahead and, and do this update, you just go ahead and click up here reboot and install. And my fan might go crazy while this happens. And if you hear it in the background, I guess that's to be expected. You can see here, it's actually starting the update process. And it's rebooting now. Here we go, we are rebooting one more time and hopefully my system doesn't explode, but we'll see. The Novo boot screen, I guess that's a good sign. My Pop! OS installation is encrypted, so I'll go ahead and put that password in. So far it's looking pretty good. And, you know, so far everything seems to be going very well. I just logged back in here and we can see that we have two out of three updates done. The first one I just did in testing before I pressed the record button. So there you go, guys. That was a look at updating firmware 
from within Linux. In my case, I'm running Pop! OS and they make that process very easy, but this process is not specific to Pop! OS because this is a technology that any distribution can implement and a lot of them do. So if you get a request to install firmware while using your distro of choice, you know, go ahead and give that a shot as long as your research shows that there's no known issues and you should be good to go. So I hope you found that helpful and let me know in the comments below what you thought and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for checking out my video. I really appreciate it. If you found it useful, click that like button. And if you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe so you'll see the latest content as soon as it becomes available. If you want to help me out, there's links down below for my Patreon page, as well as links for purchasing my Linux books, and also my affiliate store, which has a listing of Linux-compatible hardware that I've actually tested personally. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.